we have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a video, and that's simply because my last computer went pop. It's taken me uh, about six weeks to get a new one, and a couple of weeks to get this one configured. But now we're back, and we're going to crack on with our Skyrim series, and there's going to be a few other games uh, coming up as well on, on, uh, on the channel, so uh, that's something to look forward to. Now, we've been up to High Hrothgar, see the Greybeards, and they've given us another word wall. And um, this one's at Dead Man's Respite. This is a cracking little quest, brilliant boss fight at the end, well worth doing, and you get the whirlwind sprint uh, shouts at the end of it. Now the tomb is a fine resting place of King Olaf. Now this is also the initiation quest for the Bard's College faction, and it's here you'll pick up King Olaf's verse, which is your initiation quest to join the Bard's College. So you can kill two birds with one stone, if, if obviously if you want to join the Bard's College, which yeah, you might as well. It's another thing to do in Skyrim. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, here we go. Now, as usual, this is a look a walkthrough playthrough. Uh, you'll be fighting in your own particular way and style that suits your build. I mean, personally, when I'm playing for myself, I go for the illusion uh, assassin uh, approach. Uh, but to keep the videos fairly short, I'm going to go balls out using conjuration, etc., etc., et to make this video as short as possible. As you wish. I'm really looking forward to this one. This is a cracking little quest here. Well, it's not a quest, is it? I'm going for the word wall. Now, when you come in here, you're going to meet four droggers. Now, you could, to make your life easier, kill them uh, before you pick up a ruby claw. Um, I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm going to pick up the claw and then beat the crap out of them. But you guys do it how you want, whichever way suits you. Anyway, pop the boys in. And let's go. The uh, Ruby Dragon Claws just ahead. Grab that. And here they come. Like I say, if you want to, you could sneak around and kill them while they're asleep, but hey. This is more fun. I love my Dramora Lords. The Dramora Lords and the Storm Atronax are my uh, favourites. Now, there's quite a lot of loot here. It's all levelled. At my level, I'm going to get a whole load of ebony stuff. Um, so, you can go... I would suggest you go light. So you can carry lots of gear. Um, you may have a follower, so you can load them up. Or you can leave a follower outside uh, and come back in afterwards, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, we follow the ghost of Svankir. I think that's how I pronounce his name. Uh, he'll lead us all the way through. He's uh, an ex-bard from the college. Um, he's the one who carried King Olaf's verse, which you need to pick up. Now watch out for traps. I've got the perk where I don't set them off. Uh, you may not have, so watch out for them. Okay, keep following Svarknir. And there's a couple little frostbite spiders, nothing too difficult. And that's where you want to carry on, but there's a chest, uh, not much of a chest, but hey. Look in the cobwebs. somewhere. There you go. I don't think you have to do that, but um,
Oh well, some lockpicks, I guess that's handy. Right, back round here, activate this chain. This is our first Death Lord. These are tough cookies, by the way. As like I mentioned, uh, lots of ebony gear around here, so... Come light. There's a trap just there, by the way. Nom nom, soul gem. And a skill book for speech. Hopefully you've seen my previous video on uh, getting the merchant's perk, so you won't need that one. I can't help thinking there's a door there, but I've never have uh, been able to find a way into it if there is, so maybe there's not. Again, there's a trap down here at the bottom of the stairs, so uh, watch out for that. And some more frostbites. Okay, activate this chain. That allows you to go down the stairs. Now you're committed. Good night. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, don't forget to pick up these little coins. It's not many, but it's gold. No carry weight. And I think that just about does it down here. So, follow the stairs up. This one's quite tricky. Get up close, then run. Get up close, then run. Get up close, then run. There you go. And just in case you want to come back this way, uh, activate that chain. So, onwards and, uh, well, downwards.
Now you can't seal the unseal this yet. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, let me know if you'd rather uh, me do these videos in third person rather than first person. Uh, I know some people prefer it that way, some people don't. Uh, for me personally, I think um, combating third person is, looks a little bit clunky in Skyrim, uh, but certainly running around the barrows and, and uh, uh, just generally bombling around Skyrim, maybe third person uh, may look better. Let me know in the, in the comments section anyway, what you prefer. Anyway, what you want to do, if you've got a bow, is get rid of that soul gem. Because it activates a trap which will fry you. And yeah, now you've got a couple of uh, soul gems. Yum yum. Okay. Can't get a little bugger, come on. Thank you. Really? And we go for the nad shot. Ooh, that must have hurt. Triple damage in the net. Get some. Okay, onwards and downwards. Quite a few droggers in this barrow. And obviously watch for the trap on this one. And these guys always come up from behind. Yeah, Drogger rights don't actually uh, give up much, really. I don't know why I always think there should be something in there. Okay, that's about it for that bit. Activate this chain. And here you are. That's what you want for the um, Bard's College quest line. So you might as well grab it. And I will do that quest line at some stage. Just a little thing to do. So anyway, now you make your way back to the enchanted door.
Ah, that's it. Lovely, I knew I'd forgotten something. Now he'll open it for you. Yeah, it was just around about this uh, time when the, my old machine went uh, a bit nuts. Um, so I've had to do a few snips here and there because uh, uh, it glitched out the videos and this was recorded on that machine actually. Anyway, it's a good machine so I'm going to get it fixed and I'll use that as my um, streaming uh, PC. So I have my main machine and my uh, streaming PC. Uh, that should work out quite well. So anyway, in your inventory you've got your Ruby Dragon Claw. So have a quick look at that, that will tell you what code it is. And that is Wolf, Hawk, Wolf. Okay, you just activate the rings, so it's already Wolf there. Goes a hawk, at least I'm assuming that's a hawk. And wolf. Okay, now this is where you want to lock and load and get ready. Okay, this is going to be a decent little uh, boss fight. Uh, you're not only going to be going up against uh, King Olaf One Eye. Um, there's a whole heap of droggers, uh, including Death Lords here. Now you have uh, Svaknir with you. Um, if you can have some Atronax uh, with you, or one at least, that'd be kind of handy. Um, whichever way you go about it, just make sure you're prepared. You'll be attacked from all sides, as you can see here. And you're going to make it all the way through past these Death Lords here. And King Olaf is in the coffin right ahead. And that's a word ball. So, make sure you're ready. Lock and load. And let's go. So, what we're going to do is pop in the boys. Again, this is my build. Uh, obviously, you probably won't have the same. But all I like to do is send these guys in, and I hang back and take pot shots. Because that's a coward's way of doing it. You have to cross this point to actually trigger it all off. Go on, lads. And I just provide the backup. Because that's how I roll. Now I tend to take out the archers and the um, the rights first. Because they're the ones that cause a lot of damage to uh, my Dramor Lords. So they're quite capable, it seems. Good night. <laughs> He's running away. <laughs> I don't blame him. Poor little chap doesn't stand a chance. Oh, they come at you in waves as well. So we worked through the lesser ones, now we're going to start dealing with the Death Lords. My 
Might as well wake him up while we're here. I can take some punishment, these guys. Oh. We'll deal with this boy first. Then I'll turn on the right. Good man. Where are you? There you are. Kill him, and that'll kill the Atronach anyway. Oh, <laughs> I almost feel sorry for him. Good night. Okay, that leads la one last thing now, and that's old King Olaf. Pop in a couple more boys. And we'll make short work of him. It's not what you call a fair fight, really, is it? Like I said, I don't normally play this way, but it's a lot of fun, though. Okay. Now, what I suggest you do is, uh, obviously, you have to uh, get the key off King Olaf. Run around the hallway. There's a lot of loot to be had, especially if you're reasonable level. There's loads of ebony gear around. So after you've done that, head into the world ball, pick up your, your word, which is one of the whirlwind sprint words. And job done. And now you head off into his treasury. And to be honest with you, it's not that great. Might as well take it. Nothing fantastic. But anyway, we got some pretty damn decent loot out of this, uh, uh, this barrow. So that's it, job done. All we've got to do now is leave the barrow and head back out to Skyrim and go home. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's great to be back. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.